Week three of Arkansas high school football features a rivalry, not between teams, but between brothers. It's the battle of the Bolding Bros, older brother Bobby of Whitehall, hosting younger brother Brad of Parkview. The head coach face-off has become a tradition, and it's always fun to see who can get the last laugh. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> this may be five, six, or seventh time we've coached against each other. He was at Mayflower and I was at Stuttgart, North Little Rock and Pine Bluff. And We've been doing this for a long time, so to be able to have some time, just be brothers, you know, like we were when we were younger, we enjoy that. The two talk every week, so there is some brotherly love, but it's rivalry week, so lips are sealed. We share a lot of stuff, so you got to be careful <laughs> what you're doing because we share so much information and you don't... <laughs> You don't want your brother to use against you, and he don't want me to use what I know against him. It's a football game on when we play, and when it's over, we're back to sharing information and trying to help each other win. You know, we want to beat each other, even though it's we're playing each other, but we also, when it's over with, the next week, I'll be his biggest fan. He'll be my biggest fan rooting for each other to win, win it all. And we've had some good ones over the years, and we've had some that, no one paid any attention to because both teams were so bad, no one cared. That certainly isn't the case this year. Both teams are ranked inside the top 30 of the state. Whitehall is 2-0, has loads of young talent, and looks to make a run in 5A. Meanwhile, Parkview is stacked offensively, headlined by Razorbacks commits Landon Rogers, Aaron Outley, and Hogs Jr. offer James Joyner. I think they're going to make a run in 6A. I think they got the, the players and the coaching to make that run and they've done a great job of developing their kids over the years. That's one thing he's really good at, turning the guy who looks kind of average when he's in the ninth or 10th grade into a dude, and he's he's got them turned into some dudes. It goes both ways. I think they're very well coached. They do, they're really sound at what they do. All their kids play hard. They always have everywhere he's been. It'll be a great game, our matchups of skilled players and theirs. Two brothers, two head coaches of major high school programs in the same state. It's all rooted from playing backyard football at their childhood home. We played yard football and all the kids. Brad was always the youngest one. When we were in Cabot in the 70s, we we would we had a good neighborhood of kids that we would be full gear. Of course, I always took the brunt of everything. They all came after me because I was the youngest, hammered me. But, you know, back when tennis was cool to do, we, we, we played some tennis and he would always cheat. A four-year gap there, I always won, so I was always cheating every time. <laughs> <laughs> we were com very competitive. It just comes in our blood. You can catch these brothers teams go at it on Thursday night, broadcasted live on KERZ and streamed on Fearless Friday. Nick Walters, Fox 16.